Hi boys nation your boy Mike Tag here before we get rolling make sure if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe if you're coming out to check us out of course make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that little bell alert get all that stuff out of the way so we can get down to business so hopefully you guys saw the show last night had a great round table on boys in the zone so if you missed that get a little little Packers preview a little wild card preview definitely check that out if you missed it had a lot of fun with everyone on the show and uh, tomorrow morning, you guys get up bright and early. K9 said he's going to get up. So K9 and Greg and the crew will do our typical uh, game day morning live show, get you guys ready for, for my favorite weekend. Favorite weekend in, 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 uh, in, in football is wild card weekend because you just got all these games packed in and all, you know, there's always some crazy upsets, some crazy finish, something, something that happens. It's unexpected. So the one thing that won't be unexpected, Cowboys going to whoop that ass. So just make sure you guys, uh, for my Cowboy fans, have no worries about that. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. So, but wanted to talk about the all pro, a lot of, you know, a lot of conversation about it. Some controversy, some people have me personally. Um, I don't really have many issues with any of it. Just going to run it down. And, um, and I, you know, nine Cowboys selected to the first or second team all pro. That's pretty damn good. That shows you the talent that's on this team. That shows you this team better, better get that ultimate prize. There's too much talent on this team not to succeed. So I expect the Cowboys have a really good playoff run. Hopefully they don't prove me wrong, and I'm sure you guys. But but looking at the at the Pro Bowlers, you got three on the offensive line. Tyron Smith uh, gets back into the Pro Bowl. You know, it's been a little while for him, but, he, you know, he had a solid year. He took some heat, always hurt, but when he was there, uh, when we needed him, he was there. So he's healthy going into the playoffs, knock on wood. we got to keep that thing rolling. But he gets a second, made the second team all pros. So that gives him five all pros in his career, two first team, three second team. Pretty damn good. Then you get the guy that everyone was criticizing on draft day. Draft day, Tyler Smith, Cowboys waste to pick. Oh, they're stupid. Da, 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 da. Well, lo and behold, he gets in his second year, he gets an all pro selection second team. That's pretty damn impressive again for a young young guy kind of getting it, you know, learning the game and getting better and better. So definitely well deserved for him. Zach Martin. I mean, I think it's more on reputation for him. He had, he had a good year, don't get me wrong. I don't know if it was first team all pro. Uh, I'd have to look at all the other selections. But, you know, hey, I ain't going to argue with it because he is the constant on that offensive line. So he gets his ninth Pro Bowl selection, seven first team, two second team. You might as well go ahead and get him a gold jacket because – uh, he he gonna be he's gonna be in five years after he retires. Make no mistake about it. So the offensive line, you get three of the five guys make the All Pro. So it always makes me wonder when they say our offensive line is 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 not very good. Either the uh, the experts um, are way off, or, or or maybe there's something else that's that's hindering us in in some some facets of the game that that we've talked about in the past. And you get Dak Prescott. This is the one where you get some controversy with some Cowboy fans. You get some controversy even in the around the NFL. Dak Prescott, second team All-Pro. First All-Pro selection for him. Um, Lamar Jackson makes the first team. You, it's it's splitting hairs. I mean, Dak probably had a better year statistically, uh, but I think that the, the deciding factor ultimately is Lamar Jackson. They beat, they beat San Francisco pretty damn good. And uh, they beat Miami pretty damn good. So I think that those two signature wins uh, on his resume, that probably put him over the top. So I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to get upset. There's obviously we got a we got a bigger prize in mind. They can have the, the, that those all pros. But I think for Dak Prescott, it is it's a little bit of justification, a little bit of, you know, throw back in your face to all the haters that I don't know what it is. They just constantly have to dog this guy for whatever reason. So, and he, he's going to get his opportunity. He's going to get his opportunity in the playoffs. They got two home playoff games. They are set up very well to, to get that opportunity to get to the Super Bowl. So we're just going to sit back and watch, enjoy, uh, see if he stays hot. I think he will. I think I think this week, this Sunday, tomorrow night, that's that's all going to be taken care of. So then, of course, you get C.D. Lamb, first team All Pro, well deserved. I would argue C.D. Lamb, uh, best receiver in the NFL right now. And the reason there's Tyree Kill, there's C.D. Those are kind of the two names that get thrown around. I saw Tyreek dropping some dropping some footballs in some key games, uh, especially that key game against the Bills. 
Uh, C.D. Lamb has been money for this Cowboys team. The, this offense runs through C.D. Lamb. They go as he goes. If they don't feed him the ball, bad things seem to happen to this offense. So that's why we got to make sure that he's getting the ball early and often uh, in that game tomorrow. So C.D. Lamb, well-deserved. I think it's the first of many. And it's hard for receivers to make the Pro Bowl. They only select two, or all pro team, excuse me. First team, you only get two. So you got to be top two. It's hard. Just like quarterback, they only get one. Uh, running back, same thing. So it, it is very difficult to make the first team all pro. And that brings us to our next guy, another one with some controversies, Micah Parsons. Now you look at Micah Parsons. I mean, he's been a all pro uh, every year he's been in the league. He was a second team, I believe, his first season. Uh, first team all pro in his second season. He gets second team all pro. And I know this is where there's a lot of controversy. And I think where the issue is, is he a linebacker? Is he an edge rusher? He plays primarily as an edge rusher. So they're they're putting him in the all pro as an edge rusher. So who do you got in front of him? Well, you got you got Miles Garrett, who had a monster year. You got TJ Watt, monster year. So that's where it's hard. It's like, does he deserve to be a first team all pro? I mean, by his play and ability, absolutely. When you break everything down, you can make that argument for him. But if you put him in the first team, you got to put someone out. And I got to be. You know, I got to be fair, and I can't really argue with Miles Garrett and T.J. Watt being in the, you know, first team All-Pro. So no no big arguments, but like I said, being on the All-Pro team, first or second team, is an amazing uh, accomplishment. It shows that you are one of the best in the NFL. It's saying that you go on this track and you've got an opportunity to get a gold jacket and all the, you know, all the accolades and stuff that goes with it. So congratulations to Micah Parsons. You know, if that gives you a chip on the shoulder and you get a little, you know, get you extra motivated, have at it, man. Whatever whatever gets the job done to get us to the Super Bowl, I'm all for it. Then, obviously, you had your special teams guys. You had Aubrey. He gets first team all pro. I don't know a Cowboys kicker that made first team all pro. I'd have to kind of look back. Maybe the Raphael Septien years or something like that. Maybe he got one. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, Aubrey in his first year, really not even been a kicker in college. It just goes to show, man, you got to give credit to the scouts of the Cowboys. Yeah, you know, we all owe him an apology. We all were concerned when they say we're, we're signing this guy, Brandon Aubrey, he'd never kick. I, I think all the Cowboys nation is like, what are they doing? This is going to be a big problem. We've got issues uh, with kicker. We felt the pain of it last year near the, in the playoffs with, with, um, oh, with, with our guy. I see his face. I'm just forgetting his name. But anyway, um, trying to forget that moment because I was at that playoff game in uh, in Tampa Bay. But really good to see him get that all-pro selection. It's definitely uh, definitely well-deserved. So um, then you go to the punter and Anger. He gets his he gets his second all-pro. This has uh, been on the second team twice. So, again, another constant for him. Uh, and, and it just shows the value and in in what we got in our special teams. And then finally, this guy, we've talked about it, all-pro. First team, first selection, you can make the argument. You can make the argument for defensive player of the year, and I'm talking about Deron Bland. And I know a lot of people want to give him some hate. Oh, you know, he gets beat or gets beat. If you look at his numbers, um, you know, cornerbacks are going to get beat down then, and that's what's going to show up on highlight tape. So, yeah, he did get beat, you know, once or twice in the year, but he made some huge plays. And what he made are game-changing plays. When you're talking about – Leading the NFL nine interceptions, taking five to the house, setting an NFL record. Think about that NFL record. Um, there's guys. I mean, Rondé Barber. Some guys that were ball hawks that had a knack for the end zone. They didn't do what he did in in their careers, Hall of Fame careers that he did in that season. So you've got to you've got to put something to that of value and consideration when you think about Player of the Year because, like I said, those were game-changing plays. You're talking about not only the turnover, but you just say, hey, offense, don't even worry about it. I'll take it to the house. That's, that, that's what you're looking for. So hopefully we see some of that in the playoffs, continue to get it going. But, but really, what's your opinion? What's your thoughts? Give me your comment. You know, were you upset? Any snubs? Any guys you're like, hey, yeah, they're on the list. They probably shouldn't be on the list. It can go either way. But uh, definitely we just want to chop, drop a video. One, to congratulate all the Cowboys. I, I mean, I don't know if they've had nine uh, uh, all pros. Uh, again, I have to go look back in the history and go through every year and figure it out. Maybe they did in that 2007 when I think they had like 13 pro bowlers or something like that. So 
It's been a long time, but it shows the talent on this team. It shows that this team should be poised to make a playoff run into the Super Bowl. You understand what I'm, I just said? I, I'm not stopping when win one playoff game, two playoff game, get to the NFC Championship game. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, they haven't been to the NFC Championship game in, in, in 30 years, 28 years, whatever it's been since, you know, since the 95 season. Who cares? I don't care where you go. I need you to go to the Super Bowl. That's all I care about. You go to the Super Bowl this year, I, I all, all is all is forgiven. And like I said, this Jimmy Johnson going to Ring of Honor, I've said it a million times. It just seems like when they put him in, things been a little different. Things that used to go against us are now going our way. Some of the breaks that never went our way are starting to go in our way. So it has actually, uh, we'll see if this curse is, is legit or not. Because if the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, there's going to be something to be said about that Jimmy Johnson curse. If not, well, we live to we live to play another year. But anyway, hey, I appreciate all the support. Make sure I'm representing the Cowboys Cave merch. If you didn't get this shirt yet, what are you waiting for? It is a very nice quality shirt from Twisted Gorilla. They have it in four different colors. All you got to do is go there, type Cowboys Cave. It'll find the shirts. Also, you can get your discount code. You just got to punch that bad boy in. You get 15% off your entire order. Just punch it in Cowboys Cave. I think they also do some promotional stuff as well. So it's a great opportunity to get support the channel, wear some Cowboys Cave gear. What more would you want, man? We're cheaper than the pro shop. So no, but um, but definitely do that. And again, all the new subscribers, make sure you guys don't forget. We had Bob Lilly, Mr. Cowboy, in the cave. Got a couple Funko Pops signed. One staying in the cave. One's going to be given out to Cowboys Nation uh, when we hit our 3,000 subscriber. And we're gaining you know, new subscribers every day, every week. So I have a feeling we're going to be getting this thing done. It'd be nice to have it done by the Super Bowl before the Cowboys are playing in it. And then the biggest number that we have is 5,000. That's a big goal. That's a big goal. Might gonna take, it's going to take us a little while, but when we hit that goal – Got two seats, my seats. You understand what I just said? My seats in the, uh, into a, a game, Cowboys game, club seats. You could take your boy if you want me to be your guest. You could take Kelly, you could take Jimmy, you could take Uncle Cheech, whoever you want. Or you could say, screw all you guys. I want the two tickets. I'm going to bring who I want. And uh, they're yours, so you do it with them as you please. But that'll be when we hit 5,000. So hopefully, again, I want to get that by the start of next season so we can get that game picked out, get you guys rolling. But it's going to be fun. Cowboys Nation, make sure at the stadium you guys represent. You know there's going to be some Packers there. Be loud. Make sure that we get the advantage. Stand up, get up, cheer, scream, yell, because it's playoff time. Your boy's going to be there next week. I already made my, my reservations. I know we're going to get things done, so I've already got the Learjet reserved. I got the hotel reserved. I got everything set up to make that trip out there to AT&T next week. So, Cowboys, you better get it done. So, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys check us out tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, Depending on when you watch this, it's Sunday morning, game day, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Cowboys time. We are going to do a preview show. We got the crew together. We're going to have a lot of fun. You never know who might stop by. So appreciate all the support. I will leave this with you just to get you guys a little amped up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that hype video, and we're going to get this thing rolling. Haters, I just want to tell you, I promise you this above all else, I am now going to be more obnoxious, more overbearing, and I'm gonna make you all learn to love it because you have no choice. You understand that, Eagles fans? You guys are through, you're finished, you're washed up. Now can you 